Hello guys. Back to our channel. Leo tutaenda kujifunza jinsi gani naweza ku edit picha katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. La bado uh, before hatujaanza kujifunza jinsi gani tunaweza ku edit picha katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom usisahau ku subscribe katika channel yetu. Hapa nitawaonyesha vitu gani muhimu unatakiwa ujiandae navyo. Kwanza hakikisha una computer. Computer yako kama aidha ni laptop au desktop. Lakini la pili hakikisha kwamba umeinstall Adobe Photoshop Lightroom katika computer yako. Na kama utakuwa huja install basi hakikisha una download katika link hapa hakikisha unatembelea link hapa ya Adobe na utaweza ku download hiyo Adobe Photoshop Lightroom katika kompyuta yako na pia utaweza kujifunza nasi jinsi gani unaweza ku edit picha kwa kutumia Adobe Photoshop Lightroom ah uh, tayari umeshaingiza Adobe Photoshop katika kompyuta yako unachotakiwa kufanya ni kuja katika desktop click katika start menu utakuja katika hii tax bar uta click start window na hapa tuta locate adobe lightroom na uta click kwa ajili ya ku open tayari Adobe Photoshop Lightroom tusha open unachotakiwa kufanya ni kuingiza picha ambayo unataka ku edit ili kuingiza picha katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom jo juu katika system system information hapa click katika files uh, import photos and videos click uh, hapa zitakuja folders ambazo zipo katika kompyuta yako pia utaweza kuchagua ni folder gani ambayo ina picha ambayo unataka ku download uh, open images Ah, tulivyofungua folder zetu tunaona hapa tuna picha zetu lakini sisi hatutaki ku edit picha zote tutachagua only one picha ambayo tunataka ku edit sasa hapa tunaona picha zote zimekuwa selected so tuta unselect all photos unselect tutaweza kuchagua picha moja tu chagua picha yetu chagua picha yetu hii hapa click alafu select tick on top on top hapa tunaona kuna kuna box kuna box hapa juu ya picha yetu utaweza ku click na once you click this box is ticked so once is is you select click katika import import Sasa tunaona picha yetu tayari imekuwa imported katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom na once picha ikiwa imeingizwa katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom double click to open Okay double click picha yako itajaa full na tutakuja katika development Uh, on the right side hapa tunaona tuna 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 information zetu za picha ambazo tunaweza ku, ku edit kuna basics turn curves lsr color split toning details lens correction tra transform effect calibration hapo tutaweza kuchagua ni kitu gani unataka kufanya katika picha yako suppose nataka tuingize tu lights 
nataka ongeze mwangaza kuna exposure kuna constructs kuna shadow kuna whites kuna blacks ah ninge wa auto auto hsl color orange yellow hapa ni hue pia tutakuja katika saturation saturation ni ni kuiongezea rangi ongezea rangi ya hapa tayari tumedan tumeingia katika HSL color ya split color no hakuna details details hapo utachagua as unataka ku make picha yako iwe very sharp suppose we want to make our picture look very sharp hapa Once tayari umeweka your picture iko sharp au unataka kupunguza noise reduction au unataka kupunguza noise utachagua uh, hapa luminescence was 20 color noise it make about 50% uh, done close this panel Uh, transform effect no we don't want to put any effect calibration let's choose green yeah green looks very saturation let's put about 40% and the blue let put about maybe 20 24 and saturation let's make about 50 50% So now tunaona tunaona tofauti ya picha yetu ilipokuwa before before edited and after edited. Suppose that save this picture. Export. Export. export to desktop export 
tayari hapa tumeweza kusave picha yetu ngoja tuiangalie hii ndiyo picha yetu ambayo tumeedit katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom let open na ilokuwa before before edited I hope save it to know a difference between the eight edited one and unedited to know a different ya ile ambayo imefanywa editing katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom na ambayo haijafanywa Adobe haijafanywa editing katika Adobe Photoshop Lightroom yeah ila usisahau ku subscribe katika channel yetu a uh, kwa kuona video nyingine ya vitu ambavyo tunaweza kujifunza kwa kuongeza taaluma ambazo zinaweza kutusaidia katika maisha yetu asanteni sana